Well, a new energy sailing vessel built in London can take to the seas with only solar, wind, hydrogen and battery power. CGTN's Emma Keeling takes us on board. The shipping industry is one of the most polluting. 90% of trade is seaborne, creating 2 to 3% of the world's total greenhouse gas emissions. But this boat is on a six-year mission around the world using solar, wind, hydrogen and battery power in an effort to prove that there is a greener way. I'm Emma Keeling here on the River Thames in London to see if the Energy Observer will be able to convince the maritime industry that what they're doing can be cleaned up. Can you hear something? Can you hear something? Very quiet. <laughs> Very quiet. Very quiet. I can't hear anything because it's running on renewable energy. Louis Noel Viviers is the development manager. This one of the uh, prototypes that we have been designed with the um, National uh, Solar Energy Institute. Mm -hmm. They are double faced. They, they take up to 30% of their power from behind. What, the... so that you can get a reflection off the water and absolutely, get power from there? Absolutely, they get the reflection from the water and from the paint because the paint is slightly metallized. On board, there are four tanks of hydrogen on either side and a set of 112 kilowatt lithium ion batteries that feed the electric motors. Another set of 18 kilowatt batteries power the facilities. So with this energy, we can sail with no wind, with no sun, for about three days and three nights. The hydrogen is made on board by electrolysis, where an electric current has passed through water, producing hydrogen and oxygen. So it was quite uh, tricky because we don't have a lot of space here, and we had to be able to build up this uh, factory, able to uh, produce uh, five kilos of pure hydrogen every day. Five kilos of pure hydrogen, it's roughly, it is the same as, let's say, uh, 20 litres of pure gasoline every day. Captain Erusad sees the energy observer as part of a greater revolution. I simply wanted to show that it is uh, possible to navigate otherwise. And it is a much more effective way to educate politicians, citizens and indu industrialists uh, with a real ship that can be tested and touch rather than uh, a few promising slides uh, of a keynote presentation showing a time in the future. The future must be now.